<laughs> oh my god, this guy is about to just destroy all of them here, man. This guy's like on a whole nother level as a Mushi. <laughs>what up what up people it's a leviathan and we're back with another reaction today today we are continuing orient episode nine you know episode eight was a great episode man i'm not even gonna lie i was i was all for it you know we had we had lore building you know we had um mystery characters being revealed and we had a lot of different um story elements that kind of propelled the story forward and honestly it was pretty great for the recap here you know we still had musashi kind of dealing with his own black aura thing and not being able to use a katetsu blade you know we also met um up with the white haired guy which we learned his name was shiro you know and um he kind of lied to masashi he told them that they were the same but they weren't actually the same essentially you know he kind of just used that as a way to kind of um try to get further his own goals you know what i mean and apparently there's a goddess residing in musashi that um essentially has a will of her own and she doesn't want him to become a bushi you know she's the, essentially the reason why he can't um wield a katetsu blade because she's stopping it um because she doesn't want to get essentially captured or something like that apparently they can use his body or something or the black or the black crystals that are coming out of his body as a means to create a katetsu and um essentially kill him but still have have the power of the goddess so i think that's what shiro wants to do with with musashi so he essentially is, is lying to him uh, you know what i mean i thought he was a good guy i hoped he was a good guy turns out he's a he's a bastard man <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, we got into a bit of Masashi's past last episode. You know, we learned a little bit as to why he wants to be a Bushi. We learned about his parents and their um, untimely demise with, like, them getting catching, like, a plague or something in their town. You know, we also learned about how Musashi essentially... Um, was having a hard time kind of believing in his own uh trying to be a bushi and stuff like that like his will was a little bit wavering when he was younger but it seemed as though like things kind of got a little bit better as they as he grew older but it seemed as though like the the sword is kind of pushing musashi down because he because she doesn't want musashi to be a bushi so it's gonna be interesting to see what, what's gonna happen in this episode i don't know if he's gonna overcome the goddess or whatever but Either way, we're fighting a Kishin because at the end of the episode, Kojiro came up there and they ended up meeting up with the Kishin. So we're going to see that battle kind of go through and, and kind of happen. And, um, you know, I guess we're going to see some fighting this episode because there was a very major lack of fighting last episode. So it was mostly lore, but whatever. We're going to get started with that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And make sure you also check out the Patreon link for following cut reactions of this show other anime movies other tv shows definitely check it out it, it's it's at least worth seeing you know <laughs> anyway though we're gonna get started with orient episode nine let's go no, I doubt that, man. I, I think the little stuff that's coming out of it is probably like acidic or like corrosive or something. Oh, wow, man. This guy is like, I know Musashi's gonna come back and stuff, so I'm gonna look for like its weakness so that when he comes back, it'll be a lot easier for him. But it's interesting. She said that you need to cut off the Oni's horn, so even if the, the uh, Kishin doesn't actually have a, a head, it, it still needs its horn to get cut off. Yo, that shit is so nasty that's coming out of it. I hope I hope nobody touches it. Unless this guy was the one who defeated the Kishin, which would be which would be, which would make a lot of sense. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is about to just destroy all of them here, man. This guy's like on a whole nother level as a Mushi. <laughs> Just ruthlessly killed all the bushi like it was nothing, man. Oh my god, he's here to steal their katetsu blades, bro. He's robbing them. Yo, this guy's robbing them. <laughs> Yo, 
this guy just killed all of them. But what kind of power does he wield? Because it seems like he still has a black aura around him, right? That he's using. So how is he able to do, how is he able to use the black aura to his advantage?武士の死は素晴らしい。肉体が滅びても魂が気鉄刀に宿り。気鉄刀となって永遠に戦い続けることができる。お前が。気鉄刀になる。武蔵に何をしたんだ。君にもできるよ。ワクワクするだろう。武
Bro, how is this guy so strong? I can't understand it. Where is his power coming from? Because he has black aura, right? Like, where is it coming from? He literally took out all the Bushis there. Like, all, none of them could do anything. None of them could stand up against him, even together. Where is his power source coming from? Where is it coming from? こいつ飲んだ。大丈夫かこちら。あいつにやられたのよ。鉄刀。もしかしてお前鉄刀を使うようになったのか。I don't think he can use Kitetsu Blades now. This guy's like, nah, I can't use Kitetsu Blades. I'm just here, I'm just here to kind of flail my sword around. <笑>ご主人。見ろ。中途半端に黒い鉱石に同化している。女神の審判が下り切っていないんだ。ということは、俺たちが赤毛くんに剣を向ければ、女神は決断を下す。Interesting. There's still a chance for the for him to I guess be um taken over by the goddess, I guess, right? じゃあ危ないのは無差しなの？鉄刀も使えないくせになんでここに来ちゃったのよ。なんでって。it's so funny how they're just letting them fight while they're just red in ready pose right here. <laughs> quickly, quickly something. He said if they attack him, attack him, the goddess will cast judgment. And they said maybe we might be able to see it. So there's a possibility that when they mean the goddess will cast judgment, it's either he's gonna turn into a black stone. Or he's gonna, or she's gonna accept it and let him use Kitetsu blades, or she's gonna give him the ability to use Kitetsu blades. Because I think what's happening here is that the goddess is restraining him somehow. Like she's kind of keeping him in limbo, not being able to use Kitetsu blades because she doesn't want to be captured or something. Or like the risk of her getting chap captured will be greater if he goes out and fights Bushi and things like that. Um, Kishin, I mean, if he goes and fights Kishin and things like that. So I don't know. We'll see, but it's very interesting to note that when they when they say judgment, it, it could either it could be either or. I think, you know. <笑>一人で戦うんじゃ虚しいもんな。戦うんなら誰かと一緒に誰かのために。どこかの誰かとじゃね。どっちが団長かも関係ねえ。こいつは武蔵は俺と一緒に戦いたいって言ってくれてた
It's that thing that we saw last time, but he's actually gonna use a he's actually gonna use a sword. Ooh, that's a pretty smart idea, man. That's... Hey, Kojiro's got a plan. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Okay. That was Orient Episode 9. Good episode again. Honestly, um, back half of the season has been really, really good. I've been liking it a lot. You know, it seems as though like we're building up to a really big story that's going to happen kind of going forward and things like that. You know, it, this these type this type of story is kind of making me th uh, consider reading the manga probably after after the season's all done and whatnot. But um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see about that. I'll have to see how much the um, the finale hooks me and things like that. But. We'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. Quick recap of this episode, you know, we had Musashi kind of come out of the um, the hole and whatnot. And he came out kind of um, in like a half, kind of in like a half form where he was kind of like halfway going into uh, becoming a black stone or something. Where he was about to become uh, material for the Kitetsu and things like that, right? So he was close to that, but the Nanaoi girl, she, Nanao girl, I'll say Nanao. <laughs> she picked him up a little bit too early, so he was able to come out. He still can't use um, the the energy, I guess, with the Kitetsu Blade, but he, he's at least a little bit better. Like, his, his confidence ha has kind of come back. You know, now he, he hasn't really been rejected by the Blade, but he actually hasn't been accepted by it either. So it's very interesting to see that. Now, Shiro, Shiro, Shiro. My god, this guy is a beast. I can't even, I can't even, like... He looks like a beast, and he actually is a beast. Like, he was taking out those Bushi like they were nothing. They were scraps. He was killing them like they were, they were, they were nothing, essentially. And he, and he uses this black aura, right? Like, he's able to use the black aura or something, even though he might be forsaken. Seems like Nanao has, um, green aura, but he has black aura, and that's very, very important to note. That he's able to use that as a means to kind of, I, I don't know, but like, the man, the man is, is, is like killing people like it's nothing, was like slicing things like they were nothing, and he was pissed off at the people running away, like, he's crazy. But, they said something very interesting, where they kept talking about, for the glorious mission, or the glorious plan, or something like that. It made it seem as though that they have like an organization that they come from. Because, before I thought they were kind of on their own, doing their own thing, right? As like, mysterious characters and things like that. But the way that they made it sound, they made it sound as though like, they were, they were doing this for a purpose, for a greater organization or something. So we might find out some more stuff with Shiro and Nanao coming going forward later on i still think that they're brother and sister because they have the same last name but it, it could also be something completely different right but um with that note we had the battle with um musashi and kojiro kind of happening over there really interesting with also sugami and stuff like that so it's gonna be great to see what's gonna happen with that going forward but with that i think i will call it a day here i will see you guys around my nose is running as you can see over here i need to go blow it and it's disgusting i will see you guys around so you don't have to see this anymore bye <laughs>